Hey guys, welcome back to GIS for Planning, the channel about geographic information system software tutorial. Today we will learn how to use the new software Terra Incognita. Uh, actually, it's not a new software, but I just found it in the internet a month ago. So let's start it. And for your information, Terra Incognita is similar with Sas Planet. If you ever use it. The software which is help you to download high resolution of imagery in free. And now this is the workspace of Terra Incognita. And today I will demonstrate how to download the imagery of Google Earth through Terra Incognita. And this is the Borneo Island. And you can see that is Banjarmasin City. First you might to load white point or rules that define your boundary of imagery what you need and i will use village boundary you can upload some file in kml format to him to identify your boundary and the advantage of Terra Incognita is you don't have to zoom one by one of tiles because Terra Incognita will automatically zoom and rendering tile by tile of your imagery. Uh, mostly similar with such planet, you have many more um, imagery provider here. There's a Google, SVRGIS, OpenStreetMap, or Bing Map. We can start make the polygon selection, but I just want to demonstrate to you the half of what I need with the boundary. This is the polygon selection and how I select the area that I want to download to Terra Good selection. And after it, uh, you can define the zoom level. The zoom level is based on the position of the camera. Actually, is the artificial position of the camera. You have to remind that the selection must under 10,000 pixel in a bar or column. Uh, you cannot download the selection above 10,000 pixel. And you can see, my selection is 5,000 bar and 7000 of columns so i can download it and i will use cam z format to download the imagery but actually you can use the other format but in this tutorial i will demonstrate how to download it in time that format and it will automatically save and render your tiles in the zoom level that what you select I'm waiting for it and done yes it's best on your internet connection if you have the good internet connection this process will be faster now I will open it the imagery in ArchMap 10.5 but Actually, you can use the other software like you want to use and so on, but I will demonstrate to you how to open and process the imagery in RGS 10.5. Okay, this is RGS Harsh Map 10.5. And to open the imagery, uh, first you have to convert the cam out to layer extension because the camera extension cannot direct import to RGIS and don't forget to give a check in group don't overlay because don't overlay means the imagery if you don't check the in group don't overlay you will import a blank don't forget to the check on it. And we're waiting 
again for several times. Oh, yes. So good now. I finished open the image I have computer and I will see that. Yes, we we'll check. Ah, looks like the boundary was and you can see the blank spot on it. The blank spot with the black color. Maybe this spot still not have imagery on the zoom level what I said. And look at for this some place. Okay, it looks like uh, in, in good resolution. Maybe some place have a good solution and some place have a worse solution. Now the next step we will mosaic raster because the layer format is files. I will use TF extension, but you actually can use like uh, imaging or PNG, JPEG, or many more BMP. But I usually use TF extension because it will bring good contrast for it. You can see the difference of that. The save. Oh yeah, not responding, but it will not. Yes, you can see the difference between layer and TIF format. Just remove it. In TIF format, the imagery has a good contrast now, so you can see the better thing in the imagery. See Palmoid River, the settlement, and rice field. Okay, just for it. And see you on the next video.